I had this challenge around 2021 where I uh, drew around 365 paintings on every single day. I don't know what the goal was, but I did it and I improved a lot and I became some kind of an artist myself. And now I'm deciding to quit it. Here's why. Uh, to paint the right picture of how this timing was, we need to go back to the end of 2021. This was when NFT, the word, was in its peak of its hype. And I personally saw artists around me just getting the recognition they needed. Like people got around 30 million. This, uh, his painting sold for millions. And there were so many other artists that I knew who were getting recognition through NFTs. And it it totally felt like it was a it was a revolution which was happening. And we happened to be in the center of it. It was an amazing time to be an artist. But as the story goes eventually came the downfall as many people noticed there was no viable use case for an nft and that eventually became apparent along with certain certain crypto coins crashing and some scams happening eventually the whole crypto market fell and along with it nfts as well fell many of the artists who posted who i'm aware of did not get the the artwork sold which so the cost of minting that they gave kind of became a loss for them that fell upon the artist community and now the thing that they were so hopeful of which was nfts it felt like the time was uh time for it was gone so around the same time of the next year another craze happened this time it was ai and the word dali was going around so this dali was gonna generate so many things it can generate uh famous artist paintings uh style into any images and it can just can do a lot of things so i tried dali personally and i i'll be honest initially i was very disappointed the thing is i was expecting a very high quality output but dali was quite restricted in certain areas where it did not allow you to do certain things whenever i was trying to search for references for certain paintings that i was gonna make dali didn't help much to be honest even though my credits were going out and uh i saw this and i saw okay Nothing's nothing too big is here. It's very it has very high potential. Maybe later down the line this might be better. That is what I thought, and I moved on. Then I was browsing YouTube and I found these uh I found these videos which had these which which was like uh every lyrics will be showing a image of a, a artwork generated by an AI, and I was surprised. Like they were really good, and I I, I swear that Dali was unable to generate any of these. Then I looked deeper into it. And that's when I found Mid Journey. And Mid Journey is the AI which is causing these artists to put out these signs in all of their posts. And Mid Journey is the AI which is going and winning art competitions illegally. Uh, it, is a, it is the AI which is really good at generating artworks. And I don't know what kind of algorithm or what is running behind it which actually makes it generate really good looking pictures. It never creates a bad looking picture. I went. I went and tried it and it was an absolute blast it's it can generate some amazing things which will which i felt initially which will be actually practical but when i actually tried to generate images for my project it was not generating proper images it was generating things that look beautiful but it did not help me in any way but it can improve in that way but mid journey came in and it was here for a fight uh, this is the ai which is responsible for these animations that were going around the internet where the ai is looking at an art artist drawing and it is copying it and generating an image out of it and this uh, this ai is doing the same thing is doing that where it is generating artworks out of copyrighted images of artists but there are alternatives too like uh, something like stable diffusion only uses uh, non-copyrighted images as far as i'm aware of and uh, they also do a pretty good job this kind of created a shift in the market and the value of a digital artist or someone who can do uh, art on on a digital canvas was kind of going down now here are my two cents on the situation so mid journey obviously has some shady practices that's uh letting it generate these images which is using of copyrighted images and if i need to play a devil's advocate i feel like the technology is going in a good direction where it helps me generate something really fast for a web design work and instead of me focusing too much on the visuals i could just focus on the overall layout of the page and i don't need to worry too much about it so this makes my life easier and I I'm I'm kind of confused on how to feel about this whole thing. Okay, now coming to why I quit being a digital artist because I don't see the craft of digital art or 
painting on a computer screen being that much more valuable in the market anymore it seems very dystopian i know but if i am doing it i'm gonna only do it for my personal reasons because it is also a tool which uh kind of calms me down and that is for sure currently the industry uses these uh these skills for creating concept art also for certain illustration for certain products but the obvious thing is that the time that a human takes and the kind of time that the ai takes is vastly different at the moment the ai is not able to generate what exactly we want but i have a feeling that over the over time it will eventually catch up to that point a good example of how future roles would evolve would be the nvidia's ai where let's say that we want to uh, wanted to generate a squirrel with boxing gloves we can just point out where the boxing gloves needs to be and where the squirrel needs to be and it generates exactly where we want it and what we want in the exact place where we want it so this gives us a much more creative control and i see the people in the creative field using ai in these ways like concept artists and illustrations for books and so on there will definitely be a need for humans a human input in all of this till the end but i feel like in the future we'll be collaborating it with ais so i see the whole digital art as a skill evolving and i personally am not going to go further in that direction so i'm quitting because of that but if you feel like you want to uh, like work along with ais and just adapting these things like you can take in an ai generation mix it with another ai generation and just make something out of it as soon as these ais which can take up take up human input comes into play it will be much more much better for us to like create things out of it and have a more collaborative approach towards it uh, personally my thing has shifted and that's my two cents on this thing and you guys can share what you what you guys feel and like do you see this as a direction where ai and human is going to collaborate together and work on creative like, visualization in the future or do you see some other future where digital art stays in a certain part of the uh, certain part of the creative field and i just shared what i felt you can point out if i was wrong in certain things and yeah subscribe if you like this kind of content see ya